Pinch! Up. Shabby crew you are, but we'll have to make do, won't we? At ease. Right, listen up, chaps. This is war. We're playing with the lives of real digital people here. Your country's counting on you. Company of Heroes 3 Console Edition is the ultimate World War II experience available to console players. There's no excuse for you to fail. This is how we wage war, with control in your hands, not from a bloody desk. First things first, you've got to pick a side. Company of Heroes 3 offers you four unique factions to choose from, all with their own distinctive play style. You've got the British Army. A well-rounded and resilient faction, able to adapt to any encounter. They can rely on various scouting strategies and sturdy units such as the Sappers and Matilda Tanks to properly assess the situation and plan their next move accordingly. There's also the US forces. Aggressive and overwhelming. Particularly efficient when leveraging combined arms, though. The Americans love to rush into battle to circle the enemy and rain hell upon their positions. Those Sherman tanks, BAR rifles, sure pack a nasty punch. Then, there's the intimidating and defensive Wehrmacht war machine. These men took Europe by surprise and made the Allies' life miserable trying to boot them out. They will storm the battlefield, reinforce their positions, and withstand anything that might be thrown at them with formidable units such as the Stosstruppen or Panther tanks. And finally, the Deutsche Afrika Corps. This highly mobile and mechanized faction encapsulates how Germany adapted their tactics for desert warfare. They're particularly good at run and gun tactics, disorienting enemy defenses before sending the final blow. Now, I say this again. This is war. War in the Mediterranean theater at that. So, expect to fight all around Italy and North Africa in two unique single player campaigns. All you aspiring strategists should have your hands full with the Italian Dynamic Campaign, a first in the series. Lead the Allies on their way to victory by moving your pawns on the strategic map before diving into tactical RTS battles. In North African operations, you'll take on the DAX counteroffensive against the British forces in Egypt and Libya. Relive important encounters such as the Siege of Tobruk or the Battles of El Alamein and see what victory looks like from the other side. Now, I bet you're wondering how to actually win those battles. Behold the tactical depth of Company of Heroes 3. Any good commander must take several factors into consideration when approaching combat situations. Cover, flanking opportunities, terrain elevation, all the elements that define Company of Heroes realistic and immersive action. Now, let's talk motor skills. I hear you. You're thinking, oh, but Colonel Murray, surely I can't be as quick and reactive with a gamepad as I am with a keyboard and a mouse. Well, that is where you are wrong. Company of Heroes 3 console edition controls have been re-engineered specifically for consoles. Take the command wheel, for instance. It lets you group several useful orders on a single radial menu. And tactical pause gives you full control of the action. Stopping time to let you plan your moves and chain commands to unleash coordinated assaults on your enemy. Having fun back there, are you? Well, good, because you'll find out that there's nothing like playing some Company of Heroes 3 with your mates. Team up against AI-controlled enemies in historical battles all across the Mediterranean theatre. On the more competitive side, are we? Well, give other players a proper lesson in military know-how with the series' iconic multiplayer game modes featuring battle scenarios ranging from 1v1 to 4v4 encounters. Hell's teeth! Time flies. Now, you chaps and chapesses, you go and have fun with Company of Heroes 3. And that's an order. I've got another incredibly important, top-secret, high-level briefing scheduled. Pub? 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 With me? Lift right, lift right, lift right, lift right, lift right!